Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Pete here. Today I'm down in uh, the bottom of Okinawa here with this beautiful waterfall and some really crazy rocky terrain here. And I thought, what better place to test out our new DJI Osmo uh, than to do it over this crazy terrain, as you can see uh, down here. So I thought we could really find out how smooth I can get uh, getting some video as I'm walking across this, this uh, rock and over the water and everything and also test out the image quality from both the photos the raw dng photos that it puts out 12 megapixel images and the uh, video quality probably just in 1080p because my computer can't really handle 4k too well at the moment but um, so far i'm loving it i'm still getting used to using it nice and smoothly so i'm sure i'll be able to get it even smoother with a bit of practice but uh, super simple to use um, it does chew up the battery power especially my phone i've noticed but uh, anyway, let's get some footage of this place and uh, take some photos and see how we go. Okay, so here I am, first of all, navigating over some tricky rock sections. Um, just trying to hold the Osmo steady and keep it on the waterfall. And then I stop to just kind of pan and tilt around the falls here a little bit. Just experimenting. And then let's come back up the rock. Uh, you can see it's pretty rough terrain, but the Osmo manages to stay pretty steady. Um, in just a second here, I'm going to climb up a really steep section. Uh, and you'll see it's moving around a little bit, of course. Uh, a little bit jerky, but then again, I am climbing up some steep rock. So um, this is just a stationary, simple pan, which I think you'll find is really smooth. Going down some stairs now into a cool uh, cave cafe. I am dampening my steps to try and go a little smoother. Here is using the thumb controller, just holding the Osmo steady and tilting down. Almost like it's on a tripod, rock steady. Just some more general walking scenes now. looking pretty smooth and steady. Video quality looks really good too, I think. With a little bit of practice, it's not too hard to uh, pan around like this. I find at first it was a little bit tricky. And one more tilt using just the thumb controller find these look really rock steady as though they were just on a tripod. Now here's a few still images captured with the Osmo. That one just before was straight out of the camera. Here's one with a quick little edit in Lightroom. And here's a few images shot with the X3 Zenmuse attached to the Inspire One drone. The image quality is good if you have enough light, but it doesn't handle low light situations very well. And lastly, here's just a few panoramas straight out of the Osmo, unedited. They stitched really well, but they are very long. So uh, that's my little roundup of the Osmo. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks for watching.